But Gucci Man is the Grim Reaper or something, bro. Because everybody in 1017 is just going bad for them, bro. Rest in peace to Enchanting. Real deal. What's the word, gang? I'm back with another real deal video. And today, I got a special real deal video for y'all, man. So look, um, apparently, a Texas rapper lost her life after linking up with her ex-boyfriend. So, I know who this is already, and this is enchanting. A lot of stuff been going on in Texas lately, bro. It seems like crime been rising up all over. I guess it's because it's hot outside. I'm not sure. But this is enchanting. Um, I think she makes music. I'm not too sure about her. I never really heard her songs, but I've been seeing it everywhere that she had passed away. Rest in peace to enchanting. But let's check out this real deal video, man. Um, make sure you hit that like button. That like button. Let's try to get to let's try, let's try to get to twenty likes. If we get to twenty likes, I got something for y'all. I got something special for y'all for real. So let's try to get to twenty likes. And yeah, hit that subscribe button. It should be right below my body. It should be a little YouTube icon. You can click it, press subscribe, man. But let's get into the real deal video. Let's go. I just press the subscribe button. It'll take it's no free. time. It's free. free. It's free. It's not like no patron. It's free. Especially right now, it's right in the corner, right there on the Subscribe, screen. like, leave a comment, do all that. It's okay to report on something and not know everything to the story. In no way, shape, or form is it cool to try to be first to speak on how somebody lose their life, or lost their life, rather, before they family do. What we doing? Fam, going on in the last 24 hours? That's all that's been going on on social media. In regards to a young woman in her mid-20s, recently been pulled off like She life pretty school. as hell. Now, that news in itself was just released within the last three hours of me doing this video. But you have reports going as late as 12 hours ago on how people think she lost her life. Damn, right she now. was 1017? Bro, bro, 1017 is a curse, bro. If y'all, if y'all a rapper, do not sign with Gucci Mane shit, bro. Gucci shit be getting blown up, bro. Like, I don't know what's going on. All of they rappers either dead or in jail, bro. Like, I don't know what's going on with Gucci and his shit, bro. But Gucci Man is the Grim Reaper or something, bro. Because everybody in 1017 is just going bad for them, bro. Rest in peace to Enchanting. The truth on that, it got to be she pretty as hell too. how we're going about things, man. But of course, fam, you know we're going to speak on what's public. Shine light on this case. Speak on who this young woman is. Speak on what's public about her losing her life and some of her biggest accomplishments in life. And most of all, pay our respects to the victim and her family. So before we go over this, Rex remember, on me. I don't give you no anger. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. She pretty we'll as hell. Right to it. Find me, Shining Learn, 26 years old. Also go by her rap stage name, Enchant. My stage name for my coworker. I was working at IHOP. It was like an older lady. This is my homegirl, Laura. So girl, if you see this, you the one. But my real name is Channing. And at first I had came up with like my other artist's name, it was so ugly. We're not even gonna speak on it. So my coworker, she was like, your name should be enchanting. Like, I feel like that fits you. And it's close to your real name. And I was like, hmm. And then boom, I just ran with that. FYI, I don't know why her eyes was like that. There wasn't no editing on my part. That's how the eyes was on the video. I don't know if that's a thing for the platform, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Now when chatting is from Fort Worth, Texas, and at times, you might see her throwing up this hand symbol and rapping the beat that stands for six block her neighborhood a neighborhood located on a 2200 block of star cup road which is also the neighborhood fort worth texas rappers cj casino and bugatti casino grew up as well it's also the location where in chat dropped one of her first videos five years ago with bugatti casino in a track titled bricks from the start okay it's just like she hoods but the same it was someone that was in that music video that only had a cameo that claimed to have a huge part in the chat career his name is johnny damn d and apparently he a rapper himself dropping a track just last month in a track title Back to the wall. Hey, I smoke a pee of good dope every week. I be hiding a bitch from like, Whoa. hey. Now, the reason he important to this video because they got a boosty shade. This, I knew nothing about him. So, the man who put out the information to the world that Enchant was on life support yesterday, while he allegedly in the hospital, while he went to social media, fam, your guess is good as mine. That man is Johnny Damn D. If everybody could pray for Jan, pray. So you 
see him panicking and you see him in frantic like he almost did something wrong recording it in all black and here's the thing as i do my research i find out even on his page by the pictures he was tagged in he knew her since at least 2019 which is five years ago which is when she was in that music video and he had a cameo but it's also important to know this i really couldn't tell exactly how their relationship went but what i can say is just last year he threw salt on her name speaking on her as if if it wasn't for him she wouldn't have no career you one of those guys man like i said we can't not talk about the elephant in the room <laughs> you know what i'm saying let's talk about your deal you being linked with 1017 mm -hmm. uh let's talk about i gotta ask you about enchant that's the elephant in the room mm -hmm. when you look you up that that's a history that can't be denied mm -hmm. um how important do you feel like you were to her career blossoming who she is how important yeah if i didn't exist she wouldn't exist that's how wow. much that's how if, that's if you how didn't important. exist she wouldn't exist she wouldn't exist but how did what did you do to impact her so much that you felt like if it wasn't for me you wouldn't be here pretty much anything you can ever think of an artist is supposed to do for themselves i had to do for her i took it i took an image i took a face and i pretty much put everything together what i thought people would love the music that I thought people would attract to. I posted the, 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 the sexual content that people would attract to on Instagram just to build a page. Yeah, but you said something. You said everything that an artist should do for themselves. Yeah. So you saying that she didn't she actually do anything. It. No. You did it all. No, I mean, she had a... Uh, uh, what what she did had, she? What part did she play and what part did you play? The face and the voice. That's, That's all she played with she the was face. She was the face and the voice. What record labels do for artists is what I was doing by myself. A and R and all that. Everything. I had 10 jobs in one. I was writing the songs, Ooh. recording the songs, My mixing bad, the songs, bad. marketing the songs. So she didn't write her own songs? No, I mean, she wrote her own songs. I don't want to take credit away from what she did do. She did write songs. But there's a difference between a good song and great songs and hit okay, songs. Okay, so you critiqued her song. I critiqued her style to okay. where it was like what when I met her, she probably head. had a, sound, a, song, uh, a This nigga got mashed potatoes on his head. He got a little ass plate of mashed potatoes on his head. This nigga has mashed potatoes on his head and he got a nerve to say he made her. Which he very well could have, but you got to get the artist some credit. Like even if you did make her, oh no, nah, I'm 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 showing love. Like you know, she she had this talent, she had this sound that she want to produce. I just helped her build it. But nobody humble no more. Humble yourself, nigga. A, a EP on SoundCloud with like 25 plays, but I seen the vision, and I took what her vision was and I added to it, and together we made motherfucking. How history. did y'all meet? How did, that's what I was about to ask. It was on Facebook. She was just like known in Fort Worth, in Dallas, Fort Worth, as a as a pretty face on Facebook, um, Snapchat, shit like that. And um, I just found her and I heard the music. I told her to send me something. She sent me a song. She had a nice voice. And then from there on, I just hit her up and told her to come to the studio. And that's how we met. And from Boom. At that, hold on. At that time, did you have any other artists you were working with? Yeah, I was working with this artist at the time called Na, Lil Nana Kiana. She had a song called "Beat Up the Pot" that kind of got, got popular around that time, uh, and that's what really attracted Shannon to what I had going on because okay. she seen Kiana, you know, and she knew Kiana, and she seen Kiana growing, growing. And scaling. Mm -hmm. So she was like, "I gotta figure out what's going on over here." So that's how she got in the mix with me. So you like Kiana. working with females? It's just I seen the vision before Cardi B and everybody came out. I seen that mm -hmm. females were going to be the next wave. So I was putting together strippers and making them rap and saying, hey, we're going to talk about what y'all lifestyle is at the strip mm -hmm. club on album. So before the City Girls, I was trying to create the City Girls. Mm -hmm. But it's like you can't get everybody to see the vision. They, they understand it and they might think, yeah, this sounds good, but... You, you really got to make people believe, believe. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't, at that time, I had no accomplishments. So it was hard to get people to believe that I can make it happen. But Shannon was one of those people who believed that I can make it happen over time. So it happened for her. So when you, when you, when you say it happened for her, you basically, you guys were together. You created a sound and you created a wave. Mm -hmm. And then 1017 comes into play. How long after? How, I, how, no, not only how long after, but 
how did it all happen? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? How did 1017 Yeah, happen? how did they link up with you guys? How did that happen? I mean, it happen? was a couple of more people that tried to reach out prior to Who 1017. Who was it? Uh, we had L.A. Reed with Hitco tried to hit out, uh, reach out, uh, fucking um, uh, Hitco, fucking... Um, um, who else was it? We had Def Jam in the beginning. We had Epic Records. We had a meeting with Sylvia Rohn. That was okay. That was cool as fuck. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Then why you didn't choose any of them? Uh, yeah. a crazy situation that happened, and uh, I guess it was a conflict of interest. So, can I you guess. tell what crazy situation? I mean, just people we dealt with prior to the situation, and we got blackballed. This person tried to blackball us from having any type of accomplishments, but you can't stop. With somebody it. from the Dallas area, Fort Worth area. Yeah, somebody from Dallas, Fort Worth. So really? Yeah, they just tried to stop what was going on, and and can I research and find out who this person is or how the hell? We could. Let's be honest, out the gate, fam. We know how some people in Texas give it up with women. Now this man sound bitter, and this was just last year. Once again, shout out the boss talk, but also. Why are you around this woman? Months later after that, in this type of situation, after speaking down on her, the whole thing don't sit well with me, fam. You gotta let me know, but keep this in mind. Now he spoke on her getting that deal with 1017, but that was through Epic. Of course, Gucci Man put that roster together with Pooh Shiesty, Fujiano, and others during the pandemic. But according to his page and pictures he was tagged in, Enchantment was possibly signed to Epic in 2019 and was added to the new 1017 roster when Gucci had made that label by Epic. She dropped two albums under that new deal, No Love in 2022 and Love Scar slash No Love Deluxe in 2023. And seven months ago, she spoke on fulfilling her contract with two albums, now exploring other options, no longer signed to Gucci Man, the new 1017. Uh, uh, if I had a twin, ooh, we will be giving you niggas hell. Well, I, I send my twin to go, yeah. Not for real, next two times. Feel me? Babe, that wasn't me, that was my twin. What are you talking about? <laughs> They're like, oh, oh, he looks decent. Girl, you trying to shoot your shot? <laughs> oh, nah, that ain't plies. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> They going too hard. <laughs> y'all so damn dumb. I'm fucking dead. I want y'all label to go harder for you. What label? I'm saying 100% dependent. <laughs> Over here. No cap. Don't use contract killers though. You know. No cap. In and out. In and out, gang. Man. Do they show what I'm finna do? Two project in and out. Is a long ass contract. Nah, no it'd be like you, in the small out. print. It'd be like we can renew up to full time. Yep. What? Oh, full time? Hell no. Nah. No sir. Not, no, sir. Sir. Not, no, sir. not me. Niggas don't be know how to get up out they deals. That's why niggas be crying to these labels and be. Yeah. All you got to do, baby, send that contract to a lawyer. <laughs> she gonna find something wrong with it. Cause that's exactly what I did. Terminate that motherfucker. Terminate that motherfucker. They fucked up. Baby, when you sign me, you better make sure you... Ain't nothing wrong with that paperwork, because I will get a better deal. Nah. Now, as we continue this video, it's important to know this. During her time with the new 1017, she developed a real tight relationship with another label mate from Memphis, Big Scar. She alleged that was his best friend as well, knowing Big Scar also lost his life last year on the story we reported on, which I'll leave the link in the bio due to an overdose. And we want to say rest in peace to Big Scar, and it's crazy how you can be here today and gone tomorrow. And the guy that was in that video of her explaining her label deal that we just watched, his name was CJ Casino, and he also went to Facebook within the last three hours to confirm that Enchanting Family had pulled the plug. He wrote, they pulled the plug, bro. This shit so effed up. I just knew you was finna pull through. Love and Chant, which is her Instagram, you gon' forever be Stop Six Princess and Casino First Lady. They don't know all hours you spent at Casino Studio, sleeping there, making music, putting that shit together, and you went way further than us. I always told you how proud I was of you. You bought 1017 Gucci, which is Gucci Man, to the hood, and I was the first person you called. I'll never forget you kept it solid through your whole career. It was nothing I couldn't call you for. 
You F the game up with this broken heart emojis. Long live, big chant. As of now, it's still unclear exactly how Enchanting lost her life. None of that is important. Sending love and prayers as I would like to to her family and her supporters is the best we can do at this moment. Trust and believe we do smell something. A little fishy, but it's more developed and it turned public and it's confirmed. I mean, you know I'm going to keep you guys updated. This was the story of basically a Texas female rapper who lost her life suddenly after linking up with her supposedly ex-manager. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, rest in peace to enjoy. Hey, man, I don't know really what happened. Like, I just, I, I mean, I can't tell you, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But rest in peace to Enchanted, man. This is a sad story, bro, of a person who had a whole bunch of potential but got caught up in something that was not in her favor, bro. It was, hey, man, I don't even know what to say, bro, but rest in peace to Enchanted, man. When they come out with all the rest of it, we will be watching that video. But rest in peace to Enchanted, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell for post notifications so you know when I drop another real deal video. Let's get to 30 likes. 30 likes on this video. And I'm going to catch y'all next real deal video. Real deal game.